Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is November 17th of 2017. I think that's somebody's birthday that I know. Whoops, I better check on that. Um, this is a possum report. Uh, we live in an apartment complex in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, we feed, uh, we have one cat of our own. We feed stray cats that come around. And we also have possums that come around. I think until the last, until this possum, well not that possum, but the one I'm going to show you. They, the possums always come around at night. Uh, there's an outdoor cat that uh, we feed, a male cat. That, uh, I wish we could bring him in, but we can't. We, we'd have a cat fight. Uh, and he puts up with the possum eating out of the food wall. You know, he'll be, he'll move back and he'll even um, go up and he'll eat eating that the possum is eating. They don't seem that uh, there's a problem. I don't know much about possums. Uh, my, I live with my ex-wife and my grown son in order to share expenses. God help me. Um, my ex-wife and I have been divorced for, I think, 40 years. Uh, so, she loves cats and now possums. This one was here about a week or so ago during the daytime with its rear end back in our patio and its head underneath the fence, you know, the railing or whatever you call it for the patio. I thought at first it was dead. It was during the daytime. And uh, then I went out. It was alive, but it playing possum. And then uh, came back in. And after a while it started, you know, breathing and that type of stuff, so it was coming out of its possum attack or whatever. Apparently, it's, if they feel threatened, they hiss or whatever, and uh, open their mouth up or whatever, but if that doesn't work, and apparently they don't have any control over it, they go into their uh, state, which appears to be like dead, I guess, is supposed to uh, make the other animal think that this is no threat, it's a dead animal. So uh, anyway, then last week or whatever, a neighbor lady came over, she's new to the apartment complex, and uh, rang her doorbell and said, oh, there's a possum out there, it's trapped, help it. Or whatever. And I said, no, we're aware of it, it's just in its state, it's, you know. And, and she left and then she came back with the cat, one of the cat ladies here in the apartment that's uh, apparently not just uh, determined to save all cats, but I guess to save all living creatures. And they were on the other side of the fence and they'd been trying to help the possum. And then I told them, you know, no, the possum's okay. It's been, you know, it's moved. It's uh, started, you know, breathing and that type of stuff in it. And, and uh, so then they said, oh, okay. And then I came back in and then looked out there and they, and they were still out there and they had, the possum had then run back behind one of the two cat houses that we have and so they left. And then uh, today, and you're going to see some pictures and video, they appear to be the same, I'm sure it's the same possum that came back, it had its head underneath the fence just like before and by the time I saw it though it was starting to revive and it came back in the daytime too so we have we have one possum that, I don't know, doesn't know he's supposed to come out at night. Not sure what uh, kicks him into that spell either. I don't think it's our cat, the, the stray cat out there. Anyway, uh, I'll put the link below to this. And if you know of a good, uh, some possum videos, uh, put, give me the link if you know of a, uh-oh, that's not good, power surge. I hope we're still 
done business, although I do have, well, I don't over here, not over here. I don't have, uh, I need that. It's one of the things I forgot on my, I have on my wish list, but I forgot to get. We've been, uh, last year or two, we've started to have short power outages just enough to, enough to you know, kick your computer offline or whatever for the lights to blink. But we did have one day that was it was uh, off for an hour or so. So anyway, here comes the pictures and the video. Thank you very much for watching. See the possum? He was here, oh, last week in about the same position and I thought he was dead at first and I went out but he was alive. Now we have the same thing except I can see definitely, you know, that he was this time breathing. He's back in the same position that he was. Had some neighbors come over, ring the doorbell, and we're, you know, going on about, yeah, there's a possum stuck out there, they're, they're cat dog people, they were, in fact, one lady was out walking her dog, and uh, they were convinced that, and I told them, I'd have been, we've been watching it, and that it will play possum like this for, they can do it up to like four hours, I don't think they, you know, were believing me. Finally, they left and then they came back and they messed with it again and it backed up and hit on our patio here. Let's see here. This is the back of our apartment. So, uh, they're probably at work now, so they're probably going to decide they have to rescue this thing again. What they need to do is just leave it alone. I don't know why it comes back here and That's it. We live near a military base. It's a reserve military base. And maybe that's it. Maybe he comes. We have possums that come, well, cats and possums that come and eat here. My ex wife uh, puts out food for them. Anyway, I'll. I'm not sure if this can be the last, well, I'll update you on what happened.